Hi, I'm Kurt, and welcome back to CompSci in 5. Today we are still on the topic of program analysis, and we are going to learn a new tool for that called a recurrence relation. A recurrence relation is used to describe a recursive function. A recursive function is very simply put, a method or function that calls itself during its sequence of instructions, and they all have one thing in common, they approach a base case so that the program ends. To represent that in mathematical terms, we have this recurrence relation up on the board. Things to note is the base case, so t of 1 equals some constant. This is when you get that constant time operation, the program will end. And then we have the function that is the recurrence relation. Notice how the function is in terms of itself. So we have up here t of n is equal to 4t n over 4 plus n. We're going to abstract away from that mathematical construct and just come up with an algorithm, just a set of instructions about how to solve one of these in a general case. So to start off, we have a base case. You need to notice when your program is going to end, which is shown by this value here. Then we're going to do telescoping. All that is is just constant substitution back into the recurrence relation. Then after we notice a pattern, we're going to come up with a general expression to describe the relation in terms of a variable k. Then we're going to take that expression and solve for k by equating it to whatever is in the parentheses for the base case. Next, we're going to take our value of k that we just solved for, plug it into the equation, the general expression that we came up with, and then we're going to do big O analysis on that expression to come up with a big O or an upper bound for the entire program. All right, let's get started. And time! Whew, man, I, I'm sorry, I'm a little out of breath. Uh, I'm just really, really fast at doing math and doing recurrence relations because I just love them so much. Uh, just to walk you through what you just saw, we have up on the board here the recurrence relation. So here's the base case. We're going to go through the algorithm together. Here's the base case. Here's where the program will end. It's going to produce a constant time operation. Here's the recurrence relation that we have. Notice how it's in terms of itself. So next we need to do telescoping, which is just constant substitution. So we have t of n, which is the runtime for the entire program, is equal to 4t n over 4 plus n. This is the part that we want to substitute in with telescoping. How do you do it? You expand it out with this recurrence relation. So we'll jump over here. And here we have t n over 4. So every time you see n, you plug in n over 4. So for example, it would be 4t n over 4, where this n is, over 4, which gives you n over 4 squared plus n over 4. Don't forget to do it at the last step. It's very important. Then we're going to plug all of this back in to here and get this expression. I like using brackets to make it obvious. We're going to do some math. We're going to keep the exponent here. Don't write 16. Write 4 squared so you can see the pattern. Then we have t n over 4 squared. Notice how we have a 4 multiplied by n over 4, which produces an n. n plus n is 2n. Great. Let's telescope again. So we have here, we take it over to there, we run it through a recurrence relation. We get 4t n over 4 cubed, because remember, it's over 4 when you plug in n, plus n over 4 squared. We plug it back into this box. We have 4 squared. We run it through with our math. We'll take it to 4 cubed then this is going to be 4 squared times 4 squared with a denominator, cancels out to n, n plus 2n, 3n. At this point, your brain should be going like, dude, there's a pattern here. Look, they're all threes. So why don't we just replace them with some variable k, which we do. 
At that point in our algorithm, we've done telescoping and we've come up with a general expression to describe the recurrence relation in terms of k. Now we need to solve for k with the base case here. 1 is equal to n over 4 to the k. We do some math. We get k equal to log 4 of n. So now we need to plug in our value of k into our general expression according to our algorithm, which we get over here. Notice how here we have n over 4 to the log base 4 of n. It becomes t of 1. That's our base case. Great. The program is going to end. Produces a constant plus log base 4 n to the n. We do some logarithmic rules here, and then we apply our big O analysis where we drop the lower order terms. One thing to know, log base 4 of 4, 4 to the 1 equals 4, therefore it's 1, so we can cut the n and the whole program is big O of log base 4 n of n. Awesome.